Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're going to do a V1 golf lesson with a gentleman by the name of Nate. And you're going to see when we go through this, there's five major points to his setup that need to be looked at and I give him specific order of how to do it. And also there's one swing thought that I'm giving him to work on right now. And I have already gotten an email back from him, he has looked at the videos and he's been able to go to the range and actually play and he's already hitting the ball further and straighter and he is very excited about what he's going to do in the year 2019 so I'll tell you what that makes me really happy to see him get those kind of results because a lot a lot of you can get better immediately with changing your setup so watch this video it's very interesting uh, please make some comments like subscribe on my social media channels and for more great vlogs and blogs, please check out BarnhillGolf.com. Hey Nate, it's Neil. Uh, hey, nice to see your swing here. You got a great swing. I've heard a lot about you. Um, got a very athletic swing. I tell you what, you got the potential to be really, really good. I see a lot of good hitting positions in what you're doing. Tell you what, the main focus I want you to take from what I'm about to tell you is your setup. Okay, and I can't emphasize enough of how important it is about what I'm about to tell you. Because if you can make these changes, it could really make a huge difference. I've got Dustin Johnson on the right here. Okay, so let's look at let's look at this line here, right there and here. You can see he's got more of a K. Okay, um, it's his hip is kicked in, his right knee is kicked more towards the target. It's a classic we call a little bit of a K position. Um, you're more, more straight up and down, but what that is is his left hip is a little bit higher than his right hip. Okay. So when you kick that right knee in a little bit, a little bit of a way to bend the end step of the ball of your right foot, but also it's going to help you not to sway. So if you can kick that left hip up just a little bit, just bump it up where your left hip's a little bit higher at setup than your right hip, that's a very, very, very important thing to do. Um, also, too, um, when we get into the swing here, I want you to look at his left foot. His left foot slightly flared open. Instead of 12 o'clock, he's got it at about 11 o'clock position. Yours is pretty straight ahead, and when you swing, that does affect you because your foot spins on the way through. I would like to see you take that foot and open it up a little bit. Okay, so I would say let's get it. A little bit more like that as opposed to straight ahead like you got it right here. Just a little bit more open, okay? That, that's going to help your left knee to be more, more stable, and it helps your legs to be more still in the backswing. So two things in the setup. Your left hip needs to bump up, your right knee kick in. They kind of move, that works simultaneously, and then your left foot uh, flare open more. And then I need you to also, in the setup, make your legs stronger, push down in the ground, make sure you're 50-50 on your weight, but just make your legs more stable. You got way too much leg movement. I want you to just make your legs more stable, pushing down into the ground, okay? All right, so let's start the swing here. All right, I'm gonna do Dustin first here when he goes back. He's got a unique takeaway. Main thing I want you to watch here is his hips, watch his belt, how he just turns, turns. He does not move outside that right line. And at the top, he has got some kind of coil, more than most. He turns 120 degrees. Okay, so you take it back. You have a great one-piece takeaway. I love that takeaway. All right, that's as good as I've seen with, with an amateur in a long time. That's really, really good. Okay, now your left leg just it moves too much on the get-go. So if we could keep that left leg still right there, but the setup's going to help that. Okay, so you keep going, and you can notice, all right, you're outside of this. Right there, that, that's, that's the thing we got to get rid of. 
that and your swing, you got a great takeaway. Get those two things that set up, and then we got to get you out of that. Okay, so that's called swaying, and that's one of the one of the cardinal sins of a golf swing. You cannot do that. Nobody does that. We got to stop that movement. And what that's done, when you move that, you feel like you're loaded up on your right foot, but you're actually not. I want to show you here, like right here. Look at that angle there that Dustin has. Okay, you feel loaded up, but you're actually almost reverse pivoted. I mean, your head is kind of, look how it's leaning towards the target. Um, you're, you're, it's kind of a fake load up, okay? So you're losing out on a lot of leverage and power that you have because you're a big guy, tall. You're not using your, your height to your advantage with what you're doing. Okay, so, all right, let's look at this. Coming down, and watch how, because he's loaded up and he's got this coil because his hip stayed in the barrel and he didn't sway, he can make this move here. It's a very athletic move, and you would do it too if your backswing was in a better position. Okay, so look at that move right there. It's just driving his legs go outside, they go lateral, they drive into the left heel. Okay, so when you come down, you move back to where you started, and you make a very good position to hit the ball. You're just not going to hit it as far as you can, and then your left foot kind of spins back. Okay, and as opposed to watch how he hits. He's driving, and it's going into the outside of the left heel, extending. And then you got a good swing. It's just the movement of your legs and that sway is costing you some power. Um, and more importantly, accuracy, I would imagine. I haven't seen you actually hit in person, but I would say it's not as consistent as you want with that movement. Okay? All right. A uh, couple of drills you could do. You could put two balls on the outside of your right foot, and that would keep you from swaying. Or you can get a door stop. Um, you can get those at Lowe's or Home Depot and put it. And the outside of your right foot where it kicks your right knee in, that's set up to keep you from swaying. Um, but the, like I said, do the setup. Those two points of setup are going to be the big things. All right. And I tell you what, you, if you change just the setup and you're not swaying back, you're going to make more of the move you see Dustin Johnson make here in this way. Just from not swaying because you're, I can tell you're a good athlete. Um, it's just that movement there is hard to replicate every time when you have that much movement on the backswing. All right. I'm impressed with what you do. Um, this could be something you can fix pretty, uh, pretty soon. You just need to work on those, the, the correct things, you know, to, in the setup. All right. I'm going to get, look at the down the line video and I'll, uh, give you some feedback on that, but this would be the most important video because this is where you can see all the action happening with your legs. Hey, Nate, the Snail again. Hey, got down the line here against just Justin Rose. Um, one thing, we're going to add the third thing. So we got two things that set up from the other position. The other thing we're going to add to it is, look where the blue line is going here. Uh, it's pointing more at his belt buckle. Okay, yours is going more at your navel or belly button. Okay, so... It causes you to have a little bit of a late hinge. Your hands are almost hanging. You almost got your hands pronated a little bit at setup here. Uh, you got a great takeaway, but if your hands were hanging just a little bit more down, it's going to make your takeaway a little bit better um, just from a setup point. So, and it's more relaxing, actually, too. So um, can you see? Let's look at the hands here. Let me get a little. It's right there. The hands come down. I'll draw a line here. Let me let me draw a line. I think that'll help. So we got it comes down. And then his hand goes a little bit like that. Okay, yours. Almost just like straight down. So if we can get your hands to hang down a little bit more like that. It's going to help in your takeaway just a little bit, and it's also it's going to it's going to help you to relax a little bit. Okay, so let's uh, take it back. Justin Rose got a great setup. All right, so the right the line is for swing path. We'd like to be on that line, and you can see he's he's got a great swing path. He keeps it just at outside or on it. We don't want to be inside of that. Okay, and. 
and you go back, you keep everything one piece, but you go inside and that line and man, it's really that left leg moves a little bit too much on the takeaway and you know your hands being up like that so much creates that too so if your hands were hanging down more naturally you would go more back on this blue line all right let's keep going all right he has got it okay hang on one second here he's at the top position here it's really good full turn I see your hands are really late in setting because of how pronated you were set up. So let's look at here. See how much more his hands are set at that point. So your shaft is still pointing almost straight back at that point. A lot of that's the setup. Your, your wrists are pronated at that point. So if your hands were hanging at setup, it would be, it'd already be better just from the setup position, okay? So let's go back to where we were at the top. He comes down, he's gonna drop with his legs big time. He's gonna drop right back down on that blue line, swing to the inside, bam, head still down, extending. Okay, you get up at the top, and you drop it pretty good, man. I'll tell you what, that's a good move. You're back on plane there. And pretty good extension there, really good extension. Yeah, I mean, that's really good. I don't see many people to send me videos where they're in that good a position. Heads down, you're extending. Um, I tell you what, just the things we talked about, the other position, just getting your legs better, not spinning, not swaying on the, on the, on the um, back swing. And then these hands hanging, I, I tell you what, you're not that much off. Those three things that set up are going to affect everything we're seeing in the swing, okay? So that's going to be our main emphasis, the three things that set up. And then let's just work on the setup, and then we'll get that takeaway a little bit better, and which is going to help you have a little shorter backswing, and then we're going to be able to – things are going to happen from there, okay? So I'd like to see how you – respond to the setup and hit the ball as i've seen a lot of times without me even helping somebody in their actual swing just by changing their setup that their swing changes dramatically and i i can kind of see that happening with you so i want you to do that first and maybe just focus on a little bit on that takeaway where it's a little straighter back on that line and uh and let's go from there okay that's going to be our our takeaway from all of this i'm excited to see what 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 you do with just making these changes i think it's going to be really outstanding all right i'm going to send this to you uh let me know i'll send you an email too with um, some written feedback on all of this